Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update January 6th, 2020 edition. Make sure to watch till the end where for your convenience I do a recap of all the dramas with premiere dates. In this edition, the top 10 Chinese dramas and actors at the moment. But first, I want to congratulate Aquafina for taking home the Golden Globe Award last night for Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy. Aquafina, who is of Chinese and Korean descent, is the first performer of Asian descent to win a Golden Globe Award in the Lead Actress Film category. She won for her performance in the movie The Farewell. I have seen it, it's terrific and I can highly recommend it to everyone. It is a family drama comedy that brings laughter and tears. Handsome Siblings is an upcoming wuxia drama starring Hu Yitian and Chen Ziyuan, and it is rumored to premiere on January 16th. They haven't officially announced it on their Weibo page yet, but I read about it on a few reliable sources, including Yue365. Handsome Siblings, or Jue Dai Suang Jiao, is a drama adaptation of the popular wuxia novel of the same name by Gu Long. It tells the story of twin brothers played by Hu Yitian and Chen Ziyuan, who are separated at birth. They grow up to become supreme martial artists and are raised as enemies to each other, but when they meet, become fast friends and acknowledge each other as brothers. Hu Yitian's last starring role was in the youth drama A Love So Beautiful with Shen Yue. He also had a supporting role in last summer's Go Go Squid. Chen Ziyuan recently starred in Hello Dear Ancestors. The female leads in Handsome Siblings are Liang Jie, who starred in the Eternal Love series with Xing Zhaoling, and Vicky Liang, who had a supporting role in Old Boy with Liu Ye. I am a huge wuxia fan, so I will undoubtedly check this one out. There have been several film and TV adaptations of the novel over the years. Most memorable for me is the 1992 Hong Kong movie Handsome Siblings starring Andy Lau and Bridget Lin. Then there's the 1999 Taiwanese TV series The Legendary Siblings starring Jimmy Lin and Alex Su. And the 2005 China Hong Kong TV series The Proud Twins starring Dickie Chung and Nicholas Se. Handsome Siblings started filming in February 2018 and wrapped in July of the same year. I will provide more updates on where to watch it if and when it actually premieres. Fairyland Lovers is an upcoming drama starring Bai Yu and Chen Qiu Hong and it is slated for a January 6th premiere. The drama tells the story of a mysterious young doctor who helps spirits release their desires and transforms them into human beings. This production still immediately reminds me of The Professional. For those of you who don't know, The Professional is an awesome 1994 movie starring Jean Reno and Natalie Portman. It has been parodied many times in Chinese cinema and personally, I feel it's almost getting to the point of being overdone. In any case, the drama is paying homage to a classic, so I hope it still gets the comedic effect it aims for. Bai Yu was awesome in Guardian, which he starred with Zhu Yilong, whereas Chen Qiu Hong recently had a supporting role in My Mowgli Boy. Fairyland Lover's supporting cast includes Ji Xiaobing, Estelle Chen, and Marcus Lee. The drama is slated for 35 episodes and will premiere on Tencent, which means it will likely be on WeTV as well. I will keep you guys updated. The Sweet Girl is an upcoming Republican-era drama starring Chris Sun and Jing Wenxing and it is slated for a January 6th premiere. The drama tells the story of a romance between a female sword fighter and a male fashion designer. A bit of a role reversal which makes it interesting. The Sweet Girl is slated for 35 episodes and will premiere on IGE. Still Not Enough is a modern drama starring Han Geng and Sunny Wang and it premiered on January 5th. The drama tells the love story between a man with an irrational fear of marriage and a woman with low self-esteem due to a traumatic incident. Still Not Enough is slated for 46 episodes and is available on Mango TV's official channel on YouTube. No English subs yet. And now it's time for the top 10 Chinese web dramas at the moment, edition 5, January 6, 2020. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. The list is based on view counts on Tencent, iQiyi, and Youku, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10, Please Love Me. The modern drama stars Zhang Yujian and Xu Xiaonuo and tells the story of a fake marriage between a pop idol and a manicurist. Number 9, Dim Light in the Shadow. The modern youth drama stars Lars Huang and Chen Yifan and follows a group of youths and their interactions in an enclosed space. Number 8, Love the Way You Are. The modern drama stars Judy Chi and Derek Chang and tells an ugly duckling story of a high school girl who blossoms into a supermodel and her high school senior who becomes a famous chef. 
Number seven, the romance of Hua Rong. The costume drama stars Yuan Hao and Zhao Zhaoyi and tells the story of a general's daughter who was forced to become a pirate king's wife. Number six, dreaming backs to the Qing Dynasty. The costume drama stars Lan Di Li and Wang An Yu and follows a young girl who, in her dreams, travels to the Qing Dynasty and catches the attention of a few princes. Number five, Royal Nirvana. The costume drama stars Luo Qing and Li Yitong and tells the story of a crown prince who falls in love with a maidservant who wants to kill him. Number four, Detective Chinatown. The modern drama stars Roy Chu and Janine Chang and follows a swindler and his detective nephew as they team up to solve cases. Number three, Sword Dynasty. The costume drama stars Li Xian and Li Yitong and tells the story of a sword cultivator who plots to avenge his master's death and overthrow the tyrannical king of Hung. Number two, Under the Power. The costume drama stars Ellen Ren and Seven Tan and follows the story of an embroidered uniform guard and a constable as they team up to solve a case. And number one, Joy of Life. The costume drama stars Zhang Ruoyun and Li Qing and follows a progressive thinking noble who is intent on pushing through political reforms but is constantly opposed by the emperor. So Joy of Life retains its spot at the top unsurprisingly. Under the Power premiered on December 28th and has impressively climbed to number 2. Detective Chinatown premiered on January 1st and is now at number 4. It will end its 12 episode run on January 18th and then a week later on January 25th, Detective Chinatown 3 the movie will hit theaters for Chinese New Year. Perfect timing. I also want to mention the top 3 Chinese TV dramas at the moment. These are based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 3, Second Time is a Charm. The modern drama stars Olivia Wang and Edward Zhang and tells the story of a bubbly divorced mom and a single dad and their families coming together. It is available on the iQIYI app with English subs. Number 2, Ming Dynasty. The costume drama stars Tang Wei and Zhu Yawen and chronicles the life of Sun Ruo Wei, a rebel who becomes empress. It is available on YouTube with English subs. And number one, The Best Partner. The costume drama stars Qing Tong and Lan Yingying and follows the relationship between an elite lawyer and his bright assistant. It is available on YouTube with English subs. And now the top 10 Chinese drama actors at the moment, edition 5, January 6th, 2020. Also provided by VLinkage, the list is based on drama performances, Baidu searches, and social media discussions. And in this list, there's no separation between web and TV, it's just drama actors as a whole. Number 10, Li Qing. She currently stars in Joy of Life with Zhang Ruoyun. Number 9, Jing Dong. He currently stars in The Best Partner. Number 8, Zhu Yilong. He recently came in as V-Linkage's top drama actor of 2019. Number 7, Yang Zi. She was in Go Go Squid, recently wrapped Oath of Love and will star in The Golden Hairpin. Number 6, Seven Tan. She currently stars in Under the Power with Ellen Ren. Number 5, Wang Yibo. He is currently filming Legend of Fei with Zhao Liying and was also announced to star in Being a Hero with Chen Xiao. Number 4, Ellen Ren. He currently stars in Under the Power with Seven Tan. Number 3, Li Xian. He currently stars in Sword Dynasty with Li Yitong. Number 2, Zhang Ruoyun. He currently stars in The Joy of Life with Li Qing. And number 1, Xiao Zhan. He recently starred in the movie Jade Dynasty and wrapped filming Oath of Love with Yang Zi. So there you go guys, hope this gives you an idea on who and what drama's hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. And now a recap of all the dramas with premiere dates. Still Not Enough premiered on January 5th. Fairyland Lovers is slated to premiere on January 6th. The Sweet Girl is slated to premiere on January 6th. And Handsome Siblings is rumored to premiere on January 16th. And that's it for today guys. Do check out my Patreon page where you can find perks to becoming a patron. The link is in the description box below. This show would not be possible without your support, whether it's through Patreon or simply by watching, liking, and subscribing. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers!